bilingual. What does that look like in the script? Like, are you getting it in languages, or is like, do you get separate pages? Like, I'm so curious about the logistics of how that's achieved. Yeah, so I think it depends on the scene. But at first, it was um, it was just in parentheses in Chinese, blah 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 blah. blah. And then later, they would send me. Um, uh, they would send me a video, um, a, an audio recording of how to pronounce it, and then they had a linguist on set for all the Mandarin scenes. Um, yeah, it was really cool to get to learn a new language. Oh, you didn't speak before the yeah. Um So I, I, I go, to, I, I train Shaolin Kung Fu, um, and so all my shifus who were raised in the temple, they speak to me in Mandarin a lot of the time. So I kind of like understood a few phrases, but not everything. But I think it definitely helped with my pronunciation. For sure. Yeah. So Riley, you know I gotta ask, do you feel like Ali is like the perfect future self, like version of yourself? Do you feel like that's where you're gonna be? You're gonna be a comedian, stand up comedian? And you're <laughs> I, like I think she's a perfect future version of Erin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like Oh, it was a blast. I, it was so, I had, like, I would never think of. Ali wanted to play like an older version of me, but she and I just had a blast rec uh, crafting this character, and we really bonded over the fact that Erin had this. Um, she was sort of forced to grow up really quickly, knowing that she had to take care of other people rather than herself. She her, herself wasn't really her main focus, um, and I think in scenes where we see adult Erin, we can see that like 12-year-old girl still inside of her. So we we just it was a blast. Why do you believe that KJ is so timid about exploring what's going on with her future self? I wouldn't say that she's necessarily timid. I would say that, you know, she she has all these expectations put on her from when she's younger and um, it, when she's in 88 her family has this very heavy hold on her of, of it, trying to shove her into this box that she doesn't feel like she fits in and so um, she I think that she like, herself is almost okay with not knowing first of all and then also doesn't necessarily want to be disappointed um, and uh, I, I think that she she's comfortable enough to not want that sneak peek, and um, she, she but, but luckily she's happy with herself, um, and you know is able to grow her confidence throughout the series and um, and find out who she is more. Um, but I would I wouldn't necessarily say she's timid. I, I just think she's he hesitant. Yes, but I think she's more, just more comfortable and doesn't doesn't need to explore further. And also she has seen she has seen what uh, yeah. <laughs> Aaron has gone through and and is protecting herself a little bit. So uh, maybe hesitant, yes. <laughs> Did you learn anything about yourself, Riley? That's a that's a heavy question. I I think I think um, filming it, I was 13, and I feel like during like the ages between 12 and 13, there's just like uncertainty of who you are or or if if you fit in or not. And playing Aaron and interacting with the girls and just being into this whole new experience of working working on a set really helped me discover the things that I like and the things that I, I want to do. Um, I, I learned a lot. I definitely I learned a lot and I definitely now just feel a lot more comfortable with who I am. Yeah. And as like the experience of working on this set um, it was the first time that I really felt like a project was so much bigger than me. And if anything, it just completely solidified that this is what I want to do for the rest yeah. of my life. And then also, just by like working with Riley, this, this last right here, um, I haven't said this before, but she, she and I got into a lot of hijinks like offset and we were, <laughs> when we were, you know, just hanging out together and she definitely helps me learn to come into myself more and to not be embarrassed because I feel like so many people our age are so caught up in, you know, just being cool all the time. But Riley and I would like go to restaurants and just dance in the middle of restaurants or we would roller skate around the streets and we did not know how to roller skate and we would just sing on set and not care who, who hurt us and so we just you know got got to live it up and um, and you know embrace ourselves and each other uh, and that, that, <laughs> that helped me helped me you know be more 
be more solid with myself and uh, uh, appreciate fun. That's exactly how I felt with, like, she basically explained exactly how I was feeling <laughs> whenever I was around Fina. We haven't discussed this ever. And that never. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, we're living in a really challenging time where a lot of people from minority groups are being targeted, and both of your characters have really special storylines and, like, represent, I guess, the other. So, was that something that really stood out to you about, like, what this story is going to provide for people who maybe feel alone or unsafe? Yes, so Paper Girls doesn't exaggerate the 80s. It's not It's not used as a crutch with all the nostalgia. Um, the 80s wasn't a great time for a lot of people. Um, you know, with, with the homophobia and, and the sexism and, and the racism, it, it's really interesting to see how it all affects the girls as young people. Um, and I'm really happy that we get to be a part of a project that portrays how uh, the, the uh, that portrays um, how the 80s actually was, and it doesn't feel romanticized or forced upon. Anything you want to add? Uh, yeah, uh, each of the girls have such, they, they have a, such a special arc that anyone can find themselves in. Um, and for KJ's story, um, I really tried to approach that with um, a lot of care and, um, and with the knowledge that uh, there were a lot of people who might need this story. Um, and so I hope the audiences are happy with what we've done. Um, it's really a place where I, I think a lot of people will be able to come together and see themselves on screen and hopefully be able to overcome some things that they may be feeling in their own lives. Yeah, well, not only Fina helped me be who I am today, but also KJ's character. So, yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.